Ireland's Health Clinic on Today, sponsored by Boots, looking after your health. Gary, welcome back <laughs> to the show. Now, we all know the importance of visiting the GP when you are feeling sick, mm. but more and more people are treating minor ailments by checking in with their pharmacist. So, with that in mind, what services can and can't you get in your pharmacy? Well, Boots Pharmacist Donald O'Sullivan is here now to explain all, all to us. Donald, great to have you back Thank with you, us sir. again. Thank you. And there are numerous services available at your pharmacy. Indeed, indeed. So, Omar, I know you can go on to your local pharmacist's website, mm -hmm. like in my case, it would be boots.ie, and you, you'll get a list of the services. So I've been trained in the likes of flu, pneumococcal, shingles, travel vaccinations, in, we'll say, emergency contraception, blood pressure testing, inhaler technique. Okay. The, the, list go, the list goes on, we'll, we'll say like that, and, you know, smoking cessation. So we, we've, a whole, we've a whole range yeah. of them. So you do have the private room. Do all pharmacists yeah. now have a private room to see so you wouldn't have to mm -hmm. be speaking, talking about your all business the at the counter? Exactly. So by regulation, the Pharmaceutical yeah. Society of Ireland, the, the inspectors will go around to check that every pharmacy has a consultation. Yeah. And the, there are only some of the responsibilities you have within any community, though, isn't that right? Oh, for, uh, for sure. Now, look, our first, uh, we have this... Um, First principle of our code of conduct would be put <coughs> the patient first. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's our main principle, and we do that by dispensing prescriptions, yeah. not only providing services, but we might be referring people to the doctor. We might be giving lifestyle advice. Yeah. Like it, it has changed so much over the years. I remember going into the pharmacy yeah. with our parents, and we all yeah, do yeah. as well. And you yeah. go in with a piece of paper, and you come over with some tablets, and that was it. But that, like I said, that, there was no real customer care there back then. But that has all changed, hasn't it? I suppose, no, it has to be. It, it has to be like that. Though. No, I suppose there probably was customer care at that time. But things have changed. When I qualified back in 92, mm -hmm. we were still, in a lot of places, handwriting labels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whereas yeah. now, you can take an image of your prescription and through some of the apps there you can right. securely transmit it to your pharmacy right. and, and the medicine will be ready at, at the designated time. Yeah. You can so also do checks as in health checks in the pharmacy, for example, blood yeah. pressure. Exactly. Yeah. We'll say like that. So earlier uh, we, we had a bit of a, yeah. a, an operation ourselves and I did a blood pressure check for, yeah. for both of you. We, we use a monitor like mm -hmm. this and basically it will be a case of you're putting your cough. A lot of people will be familiar with this. Yeah. No. Who, who, who should be doing this though, Donald? I think that, uh, that he, every year, I think, is no harm for a person, we've said before, to go Check to their the doctor mm -hmm. and get full blood test, get the ECG, get the whole thing, get, get your blood test. That's how you do it now, so you were just starting so, there, Donald. You get your cough in here like this, no, your two feet should be flat on the ground, no, you should be nice and relaxed, do it. I tested you earlier. We I were like you rushing out the show. The <laughs> the <laughs> but you'll find people like us there, Donald, Donald yeah. even we're making excuses now. Do people make excuses no, when they come no, to this? No, 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 no. It's up to me to have the, the standard operating procedures correctly. Okay. So it was me that was in, in, in breach Donald, of those. So honest, even though you are under pressure or different things, your blood pressure shouldn't be overly high, though, even if you are oh, not in a resting yeah. stage, really, should it? So a few things, Mark, to be aware of is that, number one, your blood pressure is never mm. going like this. Okay. It's yes. always going up and down. Yeah. But they think that there could be half a million people in Ireland today with raised high blood pressure, and the thing is, you see, you won't show any no symptoms. symptoms. Mm -hmm. yes. And Just the trouble with it is that... It's own problems then when, when you don't have symptoms. The trouble, we say, like this, that, that he, is that this high blood pressure is putting your heart, the pump, mm -hmm. and is putting your blood vessels under strain. And we know that cancer and cardiovascular disease, they're the two biggest killers in Ireland. Mm -hmm. And what's particularly sad about cardiovascular disease is that... It, a lot of, the, the more, exactly, mm -hmm. Mara. And you know, simple things like like my uh, my gym buddy Bobby often says, exercise is a great medicine. Like that. Here mm -hmm. I am. I'm and offering my arm. Yeah, to you. Going. <laughs> so basically, you'd pop in here. You would. We'll say no. Your two feet would be like yeah, I said. So you'd be two feet. You train. would be in sitting maybe for five mm -hmm. minutes before the morning. No, yeah. we're we're not. Um, we're not I, I have to be careful here because these trousers that here are quite fitted. That's on your arm. Carry thing. I got to do my Donald there, will you? We'll see the blood pressure go up. But basically. We'd be going so far, Mara, above the, like about an inch above yeah. the, the bend okay. of the elbow. You this the cable is going to be down around the artery, and I'd be tightening this. And then, of course, I, yeah. there was so pulses. Another thing, thing that it does uh, yeah. test for, too. Mm -hmm. And then what would happen? No, I'd tighten it, and yeah, I'm not going to tighten it on your own. But simple as what people would expect, mm -hmm. though, Donald. You know what I mean? It's simple. Exactly. And that's it. And I would, we'd say, press it. And, and then yeah. it would, this one, no, particularly, it would inflate and deflate yeah. three times. But why does it do that, though? Why three times? So you're getting, you're, you're getting more accurate reading. reading yeah. so, no. you have, so you have three readings and you take the mean, the mean. Mm. It takes, it takes okay. the average okay. in here. Yeah. 
So, like the returning officer in the election, I have the results of oh our earlier uh, test. Here. Is, this, is this the first count? It is. <laughs> this is the first count. Yeah. Now, look, like I said, we weren't using standard operating okay. procedures and you were rushing around, so okay. your blood pressure is going so to be So, we should have been sitting down for five happening. minutes relaxing, but we weren't. We basically exactly. And even half an hour before that, that you wouldn't have any caffeine, you wouldn't have oh, eaten, right, or you okay. wouldn't have any cigarette or anything like okay. that in you. you mm. know? Okay. So, it, it would, that would make a difference in you. Mm. If a person really wanted to get a proper reading, 24 hour blood pressure monitoring 20, yeah. is the way to go. Okay. okay. So, okay. Dahi, yes. you have 145 over 87. What does that mean? So, in your case, you would have a thing we, we'd call grade one hypertension. So, we'd recommend that you'd be going to see your GP within a month. A month, okay. Yeah. And then, well, Mara. Is there anything I can do now in that month to bring that down? Well, look. Like Quit the show today. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd both walk. Give a new co presenter. <laughs> <laughs> Like I always say, I would say like that to quote again by, by Jim Bunny, Bobby, he always says, exercise is a great medicine okay. and you can't get enough. Like exercise would bring it down, Dahi. Once a person keeps an eye on their weight, okay. that will bring it down. If somebody is a smoker, they should consider giving them up. Mm -hmm. Cutting down on alcohol, mm -hmm. lifestyle can make a huge difference, difference because the unfortunate thing with cardiovascular disease is that the majority mm. of deaths, they're, they're yeah. premature. Should yeah. you go though, it, with that reading, should someone, I'm not saying though, I guess yeah. obviously it was taken, it was under mm -hmm. pressure or whatever, yeah. go to see their doctor? Yes, we would that's recommend, what recommend. We would okay. refer the person on to see the, with their grade mm. one hypertension reading. Now we could take another reading in five, in five minutes mm. time, in the edge, you know, we might go to the could other. Be down. Yeah. And we, we'd recommend the person to go to see their doctor okay. within a month. What about, what about more? How did she feel? Maura was normal. <laughs> oh, well, now, uh, that was 132 over 81. <laughs> <laughs> like, she'd barely walk from the car into the coach, I swear to God. She'd get Brendan to lift her in half of this. I swear. I'm like, no, cotton. Poor Brendan. I'd check no, his no, blood no, pressure. No, 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 no. <laughs> Brendan, I, I, if I took Brendan's blood pressure, I'd say it could be quite I fought him on the floor there two mornings last week. Yeah. <laughs> You'd, be, you'd rather have a defibrillator. <laughs> <laughs> just to let other people know as well, blood pressure, of course, you can also, as Donald was saying, you can actually, say, get the flu jab or different mm -hmm. things like that, or some, you can get yes. travel vaccines, but also, obviously, Donald, you'll always say, check with your GP before you decide of to course. have any of these. With the travel vaccination service, that's you have I mean. to go yes. to see the GP for a prescription. Okay, mm -hmm. and then you guys can do it. Yes. Good idea. No, okay. we'll say for the, the flu, the shingles mm -hmm. and the pneumococcal. That's fine. There's you a consultation we can go to in the pharmacy mm -hmm. and you can get that. What about, what about diabetes, just before we go? Yeah. Can so, you check for diabetes? So we, we don't want, but some pharmacies might die, but we have mm -hmm. a thing called, it's a risk assessment for diabetes. Mm -hmm. And what's the good thing about it? It's coming back to our, our old chest again. It's trying to raise awareness okay. that yeah. if you're overweight, you're putting yourself under a bit of pressure. A bit of rest for mm -hmm. type 2 diabetes. Okay. Type 2, in here, okay. which is the more. The more Don Gramila. Thank you so much. Always always great. Great. Yeah, yeah, great you. service there, as Donald says. And all our information is on our Facebook page, of course. And uh, you can check, of course, as we always say, with the HSE, hse.ie, and your doctor before you have any travel vaccinations and just get your script there from your doctor, as Donald said. And tomorrow, Michael Murphy's with us on the show, so make sure you send in your dreams. Email us today at rt.ie. Ireland's Health Clinic on Today, sponsored by Boots, looking after your health.